Hello foodies, welcome to another vlog of Recipe Fever. Mmm, I know guys, it looks really tempting, right? Yes, so today I will be making this wonderful South Indian tea time snack masala vada. All you need is a cup of tea or coffee and this masala vada to enjoy the monsoon. So do watch the video fully to know that special trick followed by our traditional legends to make this recipe. So, let's start the process by soaking the dal. I have measured and taken 1 cup of split pigeon peas which is commonly known as the tur dal or the sambar dal. Wash the dal and soak it in water for minimum 3 hours. Guys, it's been 3 hours now, so I will drain the water from the dal. Here is the tip number 1, that is to drain the water well from the dal, else the vada mixture will be watery. Now from this, I will keep 1 tablespoon of the soaked dal aside. Hmm, I know you will be eager to know why is she doing this. Hmm, to know that, you have to keep watching guys. So now, I will add this soaked dal to a mixy jar in small batches and give it a few pulses to make a coarse mixture. So here is my tip number 2, that is not to grind the dal to a paste. Just give it a few pulses or else you will ruin that vada mixture. Oops, uh uh. So please be careful guys. Now here comes the moment that you have been waiting for. That is, I will add that 1 tablespoon of soaked dal to this mixture. This is the tip number 3. That is, to give that eye-catching look to the vada and for that extra intermittent crunchiness, this is very important. So do reserve them like I do. Now, let's spice up this vada mixture by adding 15 shallots that are chopped. Yes guys, you heard me right. It's shallots and not the onions. This is the special trick that I mentioned earlier that was used by our legend ancestors to make the masala vada more delicious. Let's now add the remaining ingredients one by one starting with 1 teaspoon chopped garlic, 1 teaspoon chopped ginger, 1 green chilli chopped, few chopped curry leaves, 2 teaspoon lightly crushed fennel seeds, half teaspoon red chilli powder, quarter teaspoon asafoetida powder, and finally 1 teaspoon of salt. Let us mix all these ingredients well for 2 minutes. Suppose if your vada mixture becomes runny by chance, you can add 1 or 2 tablespoon of rice flour and mix it at this stage. This is my special trick guys, but make sure it is not too runny. Now, let's shape these into lemon size balls and keep it aside. To fry the masala vada, I have kept a kadai for heating. Let's add enough oil for frying the vadas. While the oil is heating, I will show you how to shape the masala vada. Take a ball onto your hands and flatten them into patties like this. Please make sure that it should be thin on the outer and lightly thick in the center. Now I will add this to the hot oil. Similarly, I will shape and add the remaining vadas. Let's deep fry the vadas in small batches on a low medium flame until they turn into a nice golden brown color. Make sure that the flame is not too high guys, because the vadas won't get cooked inside. Now when it's done, I will take it and keep it aside. Similarly, you can fry the remaining batches. There you go, an absolutely delicious masala vada. Mmm, I'm gonna have this with some hot filter coffee. If you like my video, please hit the like and click that subscribe button and press all to get instant notifications of my new recipes. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.